Craig, what a way to win a game. Yeah, it's no good for my heart. Um, I thought we were good in the game. I thought we were really good, apart from maybe the last 15, 10, 10 minutes or so where we sat deep because of what we'd had. And that's only natural. Teams are going to sit deep and try and protect what you have. But I think the belief that he showed after conceding a goal so late like that, um, it would have been easy to, to fold, but he didn't. Um, you know, the, the belief that they showed to go and, and get the winner was, was incredible. So, nothing they didn't deserve. I thought we deserved it for a really good performance. I thought we stifled what they do. Yeovil, they're a really good side. If you let them play and if you let them do what they want to do, they'll, they'll air teams and you can see why they've won seven on the spin. But I thought we stopped all that today. I thought the way we closed down, the game plan that we had, the belief that we showed, um, I thought it was outstanding. It would have been an, un an injustice, wouldn't it, had we not got all three? Yeah, games. I mean, Ben's, apart from the goal, Ben's had one save, I think. Um, but they put you under pressure and you know you're in a game with them. So we knew that was going to be the case. and We just had to stick to, to what we were doing and what we've done in the week. And, you know, we did that. Um, and we've been banging on all week about goals and getting in the middle of the box and getting in the middle of the goal when crosses are coming in. And we, we scored two like that today. The formation today was very aggressive. You, you really went after them today from minute one. Yeah, we did. We, we didn't want them, or we were, we wanted them to play out. But as soon as, as the keeper touched the ball, that was it. Everyone was in. We were... We were good with the closing down, everyone done the jobs properly because it's, it's a funny way we did it. We did it half and half, so everyone had two men. Um, and then depending on where the ball went, they knew whose man they were. And, and they were really disciplined in it. And we'd done a lot of work on it this week. Um, but in the end, I, I don't think Yeovil tried to play out. You know, they, they knew they couldn't get out, so they ended up going long. But they've still, they've still got a threat when they do go long. And like I say, you can see why they've done well. And the start of the second half was just perfect, wasn't it? Exactly what we wanted when Jimmy got his goal, he's seventh of the season. Yeah, again, we're saying to him, get in the middle of the goal, and that's where it's come from. Um, he was in the right place at the right time, like he has been all season. And it set us up nice, actually, scoring that early. Um, Ryan had a great chance with a header where he feels disappointed. He should have scored it, he knows he should have scored it. And at 2-0 then, you're thinking, all right, we, we might go on and score a few more here. Um, but it wasn't to be. We still had to be vigilant, we still had to defend well, I thought. Or oh, the back three, I thought were magnificent. Um, I thought Michael Rains has, has been superb. Fraser Kerr, considering what he hasn't done for two weeks, um, come in and, and was outstanding. Yeah, and Kenton Richardson has his moments as well. So, and we've got some young lads, and you, you have to understand that they're going to get better. So, little bits of panic now and again is understandable, and that's what's going to happen. But as long as they retain the belief, and the staff believe in them, because I do, I believe in every one of them. Um, and they believe in the way they're doing it and the way they're playing, then I've got no problem with it. I know they'll get better. It was, it's just that one of the reasons you're, you're kind of involved in football, isn't it? You don't want that feeling of absolute devastation when they equalise, but it's some sick way kind of worth it. When you well, get it is there. worth it, but you have to score and win <laughs> for it to be worth it. I mean, I, I don't know what they felt like, because I felt like I'd been absolutely battered in the guts. It was, um, it was devastating. Um, but like I say, the, the character of the side... It's not in question for me. I know they'll keep going right the way till the end. And, and they still believe that. You could see, even when they scored at 1-1 and were in injury time, Mark Kitchen's running to take a throw in. Um, they had a bit of belief that they could go on and get something out of it. And like you say, I think it would have been a travesty if they didn't. Lots of good performances out there, like you say, the day. too many to name, but Jason Kennedy among them, and he deserved his goal. Didn't yeah, JK was sensational from his tackling, from his covering, from his... The way he's kept the ball, he's, the way he got around the pitch. And then the, the all-important thing, which he's done all his career, is he's arriving at the right place at the right time, middle of the goals for a, for a tap-in. Um, so the lads are low JK1. He's, he's been, since he's been at the club, he's been outstanding. He's never a minute's problem. Trains unbelievably hard every day to his max. Because he knows how important football is for him. He's had a year out where he had a, a really bad pelvic injury. So he, he thought his career was gone and over. He's coming pre-season. And it's like he's starting his career all over again, the enthusiasm he's shown. And I think you can see it in his performances. And again, he's going to get stronger and he's going to get better. He's, he's, a, he's a real joy to have around, if I'm honest. And talk about belief, the belief you've got in the players, but how much, how much belief does it inject into them when we beat the team who've arrived here seven wins in a row? Well, I think they, they always believe, no matter who we're playing, that we can get a result. Because I know we've got good players here. And we have had an up-and-down season. You know, we've... We haven't won as many as I thought we would. We've drawn too many games, um, but we've created loads of chances in them games. And but for some poor refereeing decisions and some better finishing, we could have been sitting way up the table. Um, 
and I've got belief even though I, don't, I think today before it was we'll be 16th or something but I know we're not a million miles away from the playoffs I think we're only four points off it now um, at the same time I know we're going to get better but everyone has to believe you know that the season's such a long season that anything can happen at any point you could go on a run like the Oval Ave and win seven on the spin and it propels you right up there and, and in and around it and I know at some point that's going to happen to us because we've got good players to come back. Luke Mullen hasn't kicked the ball for us yet. Luke Williams hasn't kicked the ball for us yet. And you could argue that they could be two of the best players that play in this league.